Hi, Mr. Cage. Great to speak to you. Uh, firstly, Hi. congratulations on an incredibly funny movie. Thank you very much. Thank you. I imagine in preparation for any movie, an actor has to fully immerse themselves in the character that they're playing. But in this instance, although fictional, the character is you. Was there anything about yourself that caught you off guard? Well, you know, this was probably the most terrifying experience I've ever had in 43 years of making yeah. movies because you don't have a character you can hide behind and create. It, this character had my name. But I quickly realized that my, my approach would be no different than other movies I've made. I was still going to design the performance and I was mm. still going to inform the performance with genuine heart and imagination. The difference, though, was that I, I had to protect so-called Nick Cage and still facilitate the director's version of so-called Nick Cage, which was a yeah. highly anxiety-ridden, neurotic version because he thought that was the funniest version. I said, but that's not me. I have very quiet moments at home. He said, but that's not funny. And the other <laughs> difference, yeah, and the other difference was there's no version of Nick Cage that doesn't want to spend time with his kids. I, my yes. family always comes first. But he said, yes. in this movie, you have to grow and evolve from a narcissistic, career-minded actor into a sensitive family man. My so closer, is, you're sort of moving closer to who Nick Cage actually is. Who Nick Cage actually is, is actually the end of that movie is more who I really am in my own life. Yeah. But my mantra has always been, I never had a career, I only had work. So I'm not mm -hmm. someone that's just about career, career, career. I'm more someone who likes to have a job and do his job well. Yeah. I think another big part of the film was your relationship with Harvey. And there's one scene where he says, you can't quit acting because of the impact it has on the human race. And I mean, you've done this for so long. And we it sounds funny, but it's so true. Do actors, yeah. you specifically understand the impact you have on our lives? You know, I'm, I'm not one of these actors that that is high on his own supply and is self-important and, and is a diva. But I do think that the power of film performance is enormous. And I do think it can help. I think it can help people. I met a woman last night in the bar downstairs and she said that she had lost her daughter in a car accident in 1997. And the music in the movie of City of Angels would come up and bring her daughter back wow. to her. That was music wow. and that was sad and it was poignant and it was beautiful. Yeah. <clears throat> Well, thank you, Mr. Cage. I know I'm out of time, but some may not understand that what you do is, in fact, sometimes the unbearable weight of massive talent. And you've shared that with us for so many years. Um, so thank you for allowing us to experience that uh, all the way in South Africa for all these years. Thank you. Thank you for that. I appreciate your kindness. Thank you.